Hey everyone, today we are taking a look at pod packs, specifically our choices for top five pod packs on the market right now. Um, while it is structured a little bit like, you know, the first one I'm gonna show you is number five and we're kind of saving the our choice for number one as the last one, all of them are good, all of them are great, none of these are like gonna be a bad choice for you. So like, depending on your needs and what you like, you know, you might not find the number one choice to be your number one, but hopefully, all of these are pretty good. So, uh, jumping right into it, we have the Exalt Project Harness, which is this guy right here. And, you know, it doesn't reinvent the wheel in any way. It's just a nice, good quality harness. It's got lots of capacity, as you can see. You've got your main compartments right there. You've got your little uh, elastic ones for extra pods right there. You do have this sort of elastic retention thing there. And then, of course, your actual strap. And on the inside, that. On the inside, you do have sort of rubberized texture right here so it doesn't slip around, as well as a padded part on your back so it's not gonna be too uncomfortable to wear. So that's nice. Next one I'm gonna show you is the HK Army Eject Harness. Now this one is very, very, very similar to the Exalt one, very, very similar design. You've still got, oh, it around like this. You've still got your elastic retention right there. You've still got your straps. You've still got your elastic bits in there to uh, hold extra pods. The only real difference I would say is that on the Eject, this is like a pillow. This is super, super cushioned. So like that's kind of the one reason I think it's a little bit better than the Exalt one is like it's got this really nice thick padded cushion. So it should be super comfortable to wear. Moving on to the next one, we've got the Dye Assault Pack. Now this one is not new by any stretch of the imagination. It's kind of a tried, tested, and true design. It's, uh, again, similar design. You've got your retention parts there. You've got your straps right there. But the one main thing that I'd say sets this apart is it's really, really lightweight. It's like half the weight of most of the other pod packs on this list. I know you can't see that through a video, but like this does not weigh much. So if you're going for like light and fast, maybe consider this one. Next one I got for you is the HK Army Zero G Harness. Now this one is a bit of a departure from the last ones. As you can see, there is no strap, no Velcro strap to actually keep them in. Uh, this is gonna keep your pods in with retention. So you've still got this elastic bit on the top, but it's just tension that's gonna keep the pods in. Cool thing about this is that you can actually adjust the tension of the actual pod holder bit. I don't really know what to call those, but you can actually adjust that. I'm gonna show you that now. Once I can open it. it. Might be a little bit hard to see, but as you can see, another big, nice cushion pillow, like this is real nice. But if you actually fold this part down, you can see in here, this is how you actually adjust the tension. So this is held on with Velcro. You can undo this, you can adjust it that way. If you've got different size pods, you can adjust it to fit those. So that's pretty nice. And finally, Last but definitely not least, we got the Bunker King's Supreme Pack. Now this one is similar to the Zero G, still no straps as you can see. Um, you've got essentially a tightened little elastic part on top instead of those elastic retention. And the inside, which might be a little bit hard to see, the inside is like much, much smaller than the diameter of the outside. It's actually elastic all throughout it. And what that means is you can put any size pot in here and it's gonna hold onto it nice and tight. It's gonna have lots of tension. Even if they're for some reason like really skinny pods, they're not gonna fall out because the inside diameter of this actual cylinder is like much, much smaller. So no matter what size pod you got, it's gonna fit in there. You're not gonna need to adjust it. Take a look at the inside just to show you. And you've got all this nice rubberized texture right here, not gonna slip around. The cushion is even rubberized, so like not gonna shift on you. It's gonna hold everything in place and it does not use straps to do it. So yeah, that was our top five choices for pod packs. Uh, those are the ones that we think honestly, like they work great. All of them are really good on that list. Some of them do things, certain things a little bit better than others, but all of those on that list, if you're looking for a pod pack, they are gonna get the job done. So. What do you guys think? Do you have any other suggestions? Did we forget one? Is there something you think should be on that list? If there is, let us know in the comments and like and subscribe and thank you for watching.